Obituaries are sponsored by Colonial Funeral Home and Stokes Chapel, Fair, Ray, and Perry Spencer Funeral Homes, Boone and Cook Funeral Home and Crematory. Three announcements from Colonial Funeral Home. Sue Locklear Sabotnik, 48, of Stokesdale, died October 20th. A celebration of life service is today at 2 in Madison. She was born in Guilford County and was a homemaker. Survivors include her husband of 29 years, Robert Sabotnik, daughters Cecilia and Hannah Sabotnik, and Leyland Gravely, son Jonah Gravely, mother Twana Davis Locklear, brothers Jimmy Locklear and Sherry, Jack Locklear, John Locklear and Misty, David Locklear and Christina, and Donnie Locklear and Charissa, and sister Angela Long. Memorial contributions may be made to Susan G. Corman Breast Cancer Foundation or St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Hazel Rebecca Becky Amos, 73, of Sandy Ridge, died October 21st. Funeral services are tomorrow at 11 at Stokes Chapel with interment in Sandy Ridge Presbyterian Church Cemetery. The family will receive friends this evening from 6 until 8 and other times at the residence. She was born in Pensacola, Florida, was a member of Fontaine Baptist Church, and retired from Schneckner Logistics. She was preceded in death by husband George Amos. Survivors include son Jeff Amos, daughters Karen Hopkins, Tina Penn and Tyrone, brother Mike Stevens and Kathy, sisters Mary Lynn Gilly and Tony, Lisa and Patricia Stevens, six grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Eddie Marie Miller Smith, 78, of Mayadan, died October 22nd. Graveside services are Wednesday at 2 at Mayadan Municipal Cemetery. The family will receive friends following services and other times at 205 North 2nd Avenue. She was born in Guilford County and is survived by sisters Elizabeth Sink and Roxy Manuel. Four announcements from Fair Funeral Home. Funeral services for Ryan Douglas Burroughs are today at 1 with burial at Ridgeview Cemetery. Funeral services for Keith Eugene Burton are tomorrow at 2 with visitation one hour prior to services. Burial at Roselawn Memorial Gardens. He was born in Rockingham County and worked as a field customer representative for Piedmont Gas Company, Duke Energy, for 32 years. Surviving are wife Judy Burton and son Brandon Burton, fiance Katie Hoffman of Parrish, Florida. In lieu of flowers, donations may be made to the American Heart Association. Memorial services for Rosa Etna Trimmer Bauer are tomorrow at 5 at Kings Highway Christian Church with visitation one hour prior to services. Gloria Carter Yachts, 79, of Eden, died October 21st. Memorial services are Friday at 2 with family receiving friends one hour prior to services. Burial in Ridgeview Memorial Gardens. She was born in Rockingham County and is survived by daughter Regina Batista of Martinsville, four grandchildren, seven great-grandchildren, and sister Peggy and Frankie Grogan of Eden. She was preceded in death by husbands Otis Wilson Odell and Glenn Yachts. Kathy Wilson Mabe, 72, of 200 Sunset Drive, Eden, died October 22nd. Funeral services are Thursday at 4 at Boone and Cook Funeral Home, with interment in Ridgeview Memorial Gardens. The family will receive friends at 3, and other times at the home of J.C. and Melissa Adams, 210 North Hamilton Street. She was born in Roxborough, attended Christ United Baptist Church in Eden, worked for over 20 years for Philcrest Cannon in the bedspread finishing department, 
and was also employed as a secretary for Scarce Tire and worked in the Walmart jewelry department briefly before retiring. She was preceded in death by her husband of 43 years, H. Harold May. Surviving are daughter Melissa Adams and husband J.C. of Eden, son Richard Mabe and wife Rebecca of Oak Ridge, Tennessee, two grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, one step-grandchild, two step-great-grandchildren, sister Evelyn Scares and husband Cleveland, and brother Raymond Wilson. Special thank you to the staff at UNC Nursing and Rehab for their care. Two announcements from Perry Spencer Funeral Homes. Funeral services for Gary Smith are Wednesday at 2 at Morning Star Baptist Church with burial in the church cemetery. The family will receive friends at 1.30. Public viewing Tuesday 1 to 7 in Eden. Margaret Poston, 86, of Atlanta, formerly of Eden, died October 20th. Arrangements are incomplete in Eden.